So, you know, I figure we might as well play some classic jams since we're musicians. For me, bro, the man of the hour, the man of the moment, some Prince. And I know oh, you'll agree. Absolutely. I know everyone will agree, so I'm going to jam some Prince. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hands on the wheel. Hands on the wheel, yeah. <laughs> Ria, man. It's you, Al. Uh, Hell, man. Hey, Freshies, we're going to keep it rolling with the classics. But check what's coming up next. <laughs> It's pretty much me in a nutshell. Born and bred in Tauranga, living, breathing, creating music, and I love what I do. Bobby well, just told well. you how much he loved you and he would speak yeah. about you, but yeah, you, you missed just, the whole opportunity yeah. where you, you can get married. You could Snapchat and have that to me though if you wanted to. What's Snapchat? Is that like a compo at KFC? I know you've got aunties for days, eh, bro? Oh, Those yeah, bro. aunties. The song, and I know you'll agree, bro, reminds me of them. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> it only happens, oh darling, when I look at you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Anyways, let's catch up with the cousins who are keeping it fresh. This is what I want y'all to do for me. See, lonely mama, she see the lipato, lipato, whoa. Here and I'm at the Big Island Festival in Parramatta, and it's so amazing. This food, there's a lot of other things you can buy. Everything must be up from entertainment, even fashion, and it's great to be here. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm here in Parramatta because I'm coming to support the specific test for some more playing games, Matema Tonga, and also Fiji against Bianche. I'm looking for a husband and hopefully I find one from a losing team because that's when they're really vulnerable. Maybe I should look for a husband from the Kiwis because they lost to Australia. Baby, I like your stuff. Hi everybody, Clinton Torpy here. To have a day like this is really special. I love that the NRL has embraced the Pacific Test purely because it gives us a day like today to really embrace our heritage. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are running a very serious competition right now <laughs> between a player from the island of Samoa and a player from, from somewhere else in the world. They're just playing with each other. <laughs> I mean, they're playing against each other on table tennis. As you can see, Samoa guys are getting ready to serve. Serve, back and forth, back and forth. And he fails. <laughs> now, Lion King on the top of it. <laughs> hey, I'm Rosie, and you're here at the Big Island Festival. If it's really what you need to love, baby, this right is a one of one. There's just so many people streaming through from Parramatta Mall, just looking around. It's, it's actually been packed. Now, in the sun, now, in the sun. We just finished our Pacific Fashion Show. Great talent, Fijian designers, Samoan designers, and beautiful stuff. Some of the stuff was made to fit my wrist. Very nice. Yeah. Hey, hey, turn up the volume, turn up the volume. This is Yavani from the Groove House family. Groove City, baby. We're in Sydney, keeping it fresh. My name is Alvin Loketti, representing Matema Tonga. I've got a Loketti Watai store here. Uh, it's a Tongan drink, but I've got my own twist to it, which uh, is uh, pretty popular at the moment. I like the way you work. Something like this back at home in South Auckland is nearly every day. 
that it's very rare here and I think there needs to be more. I think it's really important to have these kind of events like Big Island Festival. We should be doing it actually every month. Sometimes our people back home take it for granted being here. Man, this is awesome. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me, Auntie Tala, at the Big Island Festival in here in Barrameda, Sydney. Take care. Bye. Jam sessions are wicked, you know, because music brings up memories, eh? Absolutely, bro. It absolutely brings up memories. And coming up are the fresh tips from Sella and Pua. Have you ever taken your parents' car? Oh, I don't know if my mum and dad are watching this. No, actually, my dad gave me the keys to the car. My old man had a Monaro, six-speed Monaro. Of course he did. And when I was 15 and first got my licence, uh, he used to get me to come down and pick him up from the pub. So... <laughs> Okay, so you're driving, when you're driving. Yeah, okay, you this. Is, yeah, you can have this. When you hear this. <laughs> and then you look at it. <laughs> it's the funny Christmas lights. You get pulled over. Can I see your license, please? The trick is, just pull out your dad's one. And your dad looks like this. Yeah. Bruh. You better make sure you know the correct spelling of your dad's full name, Satu Munufilofi. May I see your license, please? Sure. What's your data first? Mm hmm? <laughs> <laughs> see? see? Pardon? Pardon? Mm -hmm. Stalling. Always. Always. Stall. Always. Stall. Always. Because Always. what's your friend doing at the moment? <laughs> Where's that file? Where's that file? You got no idea. That... You got no idea. Yo, you're just praying that the police officers got brown skin. Oh, Sorry, man. Please don't tell mum and dad. Please. Mm -hmm. So I'll take him you now. Know. Tony, you betrayed me! Ah. Oh, Daniel. Tony, you hungry? <laughs> 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 Is there only your father? <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me if you like. Yeah. Please. Yeah. And just talk, and we'll make it home, and if mum and dad's here, just can you tell them that someone stole it and I came back to pick up the car? <laughs> Well, we're always keeping a fresh shape. Oh, man, have to, have to. Just I be think honest. this might be the first fresh, like, jam session, bro. We've got to keep the tunes rolling. Hey, um, What are we going to roll with, brother? I, I want you to play uh, that, that fella that, according to Mouldy Legend, is everybody's uncle. Your you know, uncle, yeah, my yeah, uncle. Yeah. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I, I got him unlocked. Hit I got it, him mate. Unlocked. <laughs> Let's go. Two fellas up after the break. <laughs> when the opportunity to audition for the Rugby World Cup to sing the World in Union song, which is performed at every single Rugby World Cup around the world, I took the chance. It definitely was a moment that I'll never forget. May Taki! May Taki! Hey, boy, hey boy. Oh, that's a cute dog. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Is it your doggy? Yeah, that's my doggy. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Kia ora, people. Welcome back to Fresh. How are you doing? That's, that's all I want to know. How are you doing? No, I'm talking to the <laughs> people. Really. You know, it's all about you. Speaking of you, actually, you've actually performed with quite a few people, eh? Oh, all of the fun, though, bro. Macy, Stan, Troy, so Rob. So bad. So bad. Pretty. So um, how come you haven't performed with me yet? Oh, therein lies the question of questions. Can I can I sing you a song that I think uh, describes you perfectly? Could you be the most beautiful girl in the world? Kia ora, I'm Rhea Hall, and this is my world. That's pretty much me in a nutshell. Born and bred in Tauranga, living, breathing, creating music, and I love what I do. When you go out to create music, well, in my case anyway, you never go out to try and please a certain pocket of people or to try and get any commercial success. You create music to um, to appease what's kind of on your mind and in your soul at the time. Best of Me was a really cool, fun, funky, yet highly political way 
um, of expressing myself at that point in time. So, um, yeah, best of me is cool. <laughs> And it kind of just evolved out of a conversation as lots of creative things do. And then we get fired through some ideas from, from Stan and a tune from Vince and yeah, I'll tell all was born. Again, that process was pretty cool. We all added our vocals from different parts of the country. Yeah, and then we came together to shoot the video, and that was, yeah, that was cool. That was heaps of fun. Lots of awesome wairua. And, um, you know, I just have to really take my hat on to Rio and Avina and everyone that drove that kaupapa. I just think it was such a worthy and um, necessary course. Yeah, I'm always open to to possibility and to opportunity. I don't think we do ourselves any credit by cutting ourselves off and siloing our abilities. So when the opportunity to audition for um, the Rugby World Cup to sing the uh, World and Union song, which is performed at every single Rugby World Cup around the world, um, I took the chance. Very, very lucky and fortunately for me, I got the opportunity and um, I don't know how many people can say that they've stood in the middle of Eden Park, apart from our top sports people, um, but it definitely was a moment in time and in my own personal history that I'll never forget. I'm not one to kind of stick to one path. I, I try and keep very liberal about what I do and very open. I'm singing with the beautiful Anna Coddington, Julia Deans and Tammy Nielsen, who are all powerhouses all incredible in their own fields. We're singing in the, in the style of jazz. So it's a very, very hard genre to try and sing. It's not something that I'm used to, but I'm always open to learning and finding out new things. my own inhibitions because I want to be better than I was the last time people saw me so I'm always thinking consciously about words, lyrics, um, timings, um, just keeping those at the forefront of, of my mind so that I'm on my game. Hit me. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all a dream. I uh, used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper, heavy dip in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my walls. <laughs> Remember See you after the break, Freshies. The hip-hop would take it this far. Tai. Happy. Tai, happy. Hey, what's the matter there, bro? Yeah, that line you gave me didn't work. Oh, no, never mind. Tie up here the one next time, ne? Oh, see you, do swear. Mm. Welcome back, Air Huama. You're here with us, Peter T and Rhea Hort on Fresh. Sure. And it's about that time, bro. What time is it? Tell me what time it is. It's Auntie Tyler time. OK, then. Have we got a jam for Auntie Tyler? We got the jam of jams, bro. OK. Anne, <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, I got a little bit of information for you. According to Auntie Tala, Cheryl Lynn came through Samoa and wrote this song, thanks to Auntie Tala. Of course she did. Yeah, it's probably rubbish, but you know. <laughs> but we'll go with it, we'll go with it. Here we go, Auntie Tala. Take us there. Welcome back to our Tell Tala Tala show. We're after the incredible with a capital N panel. Look at 
him so fantastic, starting off with my favorite musician. He is Name Supai from Eri. <laughs> My favorite actress from Shirley Street Chemistry, Grace Palmer! Yeah! Woohoo! And everybody knows this guy. He was on Shirley Street, then starred on Woolworth. Please welcome <laughs> Robbie Manasiva! Time where we listen to your problems and we will try and solve them. So now let's go to our next video. Hi, Auntie Tala. I have a question for you. When I was growing up, we used to play outside, like swimming and play different kind of sports. But nowadays, my kids are always on their phone. What are they doing? How can we fix this? Wow, what an amazing oh, I question. I think it's so good, especially for now times. Yeah, hey? So what about you, Nines, with being a father yourself? You know, are you having this type of problem with your children? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's important. I remember back in the days too, you know, we did a lot of playing around outside, playing wow. games. We never really yes. played on our phones and stuff. So oh, cool. I can understand where uh, Sieni is. Yes, yeah, Sieni. Uh, Sieni. Sieni, where she's coming from. So, yeah. I mean, I, I just yeah. believe that, you know, on the phones and stuff, there's so many things on there for yeah. Kids, you know, that are attracting them to the phones, you know, yeah. texting their mates, you know, meet me at midnight, and um, maybe not. Um, what about you, Grace? Did you hear the question at all? Or she she I did, I did, and I don't understand what the, th you know, like, I'm like, why would you want to be on your phone all the time? Oh, like, wow. be part of the world. It's be like, part of the world. live in so the moment, because... But you miss the moment if, the, um, you know, you're not concentrating on what's around the environment. She did. She, did. Yeah. So, did she miss probably the missed the question Bobby as just well. told you how much he loved you and he always think yeah. about you, but yeah, you, you missed just, the whole opportunity uh, where you, you can get married and have children. You could even Snapchat that to me, though, if you wanted to. We could send that in a vid and just... What's Snapchat? What's it? What's the Is that like a compo? Oh, it's another one of those things that the kids are getting addicted. Is that right? right? Yeah. Chapsnet. Mm. Yeah. Why do you go on Chapsnet for? Do you have a phone? Like, do you have a... Yes, you know, it's got a cord and you have to <laughs> 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 oh, I remember yeah. those. You used to take half an hour to ring your girlfriend. Yeah, and you can tap it. Like, up to 10, then you tap it 11 times. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, phone. Yeah. Ah yes. Did you know hey, that? Folks. Did you know I that? Don't, I don't think I was... And kidding. if they're across the road, you just say, hey! You don't have to text and stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be honest, I'm actually not on my phone that much. Oh, OK. Despite what just happened. Oh. My grandma, I don't think it's just an age thing. Yeah. I think it's unfair to go, kids this, kids that. Yeah. Mm. My grandma is, like, a massive texter. Really? Yeah, she's all about it. She's earned she's What does she do? She does the what does she watch? Mm. Coro, mainly. On, on, on the little Probably, smart on demand, maybe. Oh, That's the thing. Nice. The world is just, like, technologically, mm. we are so advanced now. The things that you can do on here is yeah. pretty insane. Do you think you've had that influence, mm. do you think? I don't know. I think it's harder for the younger, yeah. younger yes. generation. Just amazing that your grandmother is watching her uh, Coronation. grandfather. Mm. Oh, oh no. of course she's yeah. watching her coro. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now, I guess because we want to help Saini, now, Nains, what advice do you have for Saini about what she asked for? Uh, yes, Saini, um, I think it's important for you to treat the phones maybe like um, you know, like a treat box thing. You know, have your lolly jar for the kids. When wow. they're good, you give them a lolly. When they're not, you don't give them a lolly. Well, replace the lolly jar with when a they, phone, with their good, phone. Give them an yeah. Wow. So when they're good, give them their phone to use for two minutes mm. and then bring it back. Cure that should help you. Well done. Thank you, Nains. That was fantastic. Oh, it'll taste funny though, way the phone. So what about you, uh, Grace? What advice or tips you can give to Zane? You know what, I think, don't hate on the phone, just offer up some better ideas, like oh. take the kids outside to play Twister. Yes. You know, get them back into swimming, because that was a, that was something that she raised, yeah. and they weren't swimming anymore. It looked like a long time since she went. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Grace. Thank you, you, Grace. You were so nice to her. Yeah. yeah. What about yes. you, Robbie? What's some tips and advice you can give to Sienna about this thing? I just had a brilliant idea. <gasps> Sienna? Don't get them smartphones. Wow. Get them the old, the old Nokia's. Yes. Yes. You can only text. Yeah. And they're cheap. That's a good one. Well, just get them a Tamagotchi. That's a good one, eh? Well done. Just get them a Tamagotchi. Just get them the Nokia text ones. That's my favourite. Yeah. With the That's all. Wow, thanks, guys. 
You are great, great comments, great advice for you, Sienny. The only advice is I have for you, Sienny, it's very simple. You either give him no phone, or make sure if they have phone, you don't give him credit, and give him the phone that uh, Robbie still has now. The old Nokia, where all you can play is snake, and you can't do those like this and like that, and look at other people's um, pictures with no clothes. Talking about getting your kids active, I think you need to as well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Fano, that's us. Our episode of Fresh is done and dusted, brother. Oh, man, I just want to keep driving this car around, man. <laughs> I know, it's a dope car. It's a dope this car. It's a classic, mate. It's a classic. It's been mean jamming with you, bro. It's been mean jamming with you, too, Kiss. It's been cool. It's been a great co pilot. Thank eh? you. It's been Thank a phenomenal co pilot. Thank you. Hey, uh, let's show them what's coming up next week. Kia ora. Talo. Talo pa Fresh. Ruby Tui, Niall Williams, and Charade Tanya. Tui, Ruby Tui's got room to move. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> Getting smashed by Williams. What's up, guys? Make sure you watch Fresh this week. Sunny Boy Williams' sister's on. To Williams, oh, look at that beautiful pass. Until then, keep it fresh. Nothing beats old school 90s R&B and hip hop, man. There's nothing like that era of music, that whole decade. Probably. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. It was failure. Just can't do the glasses. <laughs>